Grace and peace, my brothers and sisters, grace and peace. My name is Brother Yehuda, and today's topic is part two of Rescue of Lot out of Sodom. Now we're going to be in the book of Genesis, chapter 19, verse 15 through 23. And I'm going to read the verses. When morning dawned, the angels urged Lot to hurry, saying, Get up, take your wife and two daughters who are here and go, or you will be swept away in the punishment of the city. But Lot hesitated and lingered. The men took hold of his hand, the hand of his wife, and the hand of his two daughters, because the Lord was merciful to him for Abraham's sake. And they brought him out and left him outside the city with his family. Now the mercy of God strive to overcome men's slowness in following God's calling. Because you know a person be, God will give you the warning, but a person be slow to come because they want to do it at their time. 17. When they had brought them outside, one of the angels said, Escape for your life. Do not look behind you or stop anywhere in the entire valley. Escape to the mountain of Moab or you will be consumed and swept away. Now the angel willed him to flee God's judgment and not to be sorry to leave that rich country full of vain pleasure. So he's telling them to leave. He didn't want them to, don't, don't feel that no type of shame or anything because you got to leave, leave and leave gracefully because this is the mercy of God. 18, but Lot said to them, oh no, not that place. My Lord, please listen. Your servant has found favor in your sight, and you have magnified your like your loving kindness, mercy to me by saving my life. But I cannot escape to the mountain because the disaster will overtake me and I will be killed. Now look, this town in the distance is near enough for us to flee to, and it is small with only a few people. Please let me escape there. It is not small, so is it not small so that my life will be saved? Now, now though it is small, yet it is great enough to save my life, in which Lot errs by choosing another place than the angel had appointed him. 21. And the angel said to him, Behold, I grant you this request also. I will not destroy this town of which you have spoken. Hurry and take refuge there, for I cannot do anything un to punish Sodom until you arrive there. For this reason, the town was named Zorah, few, small, because God's, because God's commandments was to destroy the city and to save Lot, which were, which was called Bala in the book of Genesis chapter 14 verse 2. They invaded the Jordan Valley near the Dead Sea and made war with Bera, king of Sodom, Bersha, king of Gomorrah, Shinab, king of Ahmad, Shemeba, king of Zebulun, and the king of Bela, that is Zora. Zor. That's in the book of Genesis, chapter 14, verse 2. 23. The sun has risen over the earth when Lot came to Zor. Now that's in the book of Genesis, chapter 19, verse 15 through 23, in the, in the Amplifier Bible. Now that concludes this segment of Genesis, and we're going to end with a prayer. Heavenly Father, today I come to pray before you, beloved Father, to plead with great faith for a good world. I humbly come before you, asking you to forgive me for my sins and those of the world, whole world. Help us, Lord, to regain our value and to avoid what harms us. Lord, my God, we repent of our sins and those of the world. Forgive us, Lord, for breaking your commandment because we know not what we do. Forgive us, Lord, for not listening to your word. Lord, my God, with shame today, I come to pray before you, beloved God, to plead with great faith for a good world. 
I humbly come before you asking you to forgive me my sins and those of the whole world. Help us, Lord, to regain our value and to avoid what harm us. Lord, my God, we repent of our sins and those of the whole world. Forgive us, Lord, for breaking your commandment. Forgive us, Lord, for not listening to your word. Lord, my God, with shame, I implore your mercy and compassion. In Christ Jesus' almighty name, I pray. May God be the glory. As I walk, live, and pray in your image and likeness, the fruit of the Spirit, I come in love and leave in peace. Grace and peace to all the saints. Amen and amen. Now that concludes this segment of Genesis chapter 19, verse 15 through 23. I hope you was edified with this segment, blessed with this segment. If you was edified and blessed with this segment, pass it on to a loved one so that's where they can be blessed and edified as well. I want to thank you for listening, my brothers and sisters. Grace and peace.